So what does this MCQ say? It says that a 32 year old female complains of pain in the left wrist, multiple episodes of abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. X-ray wrist shows an eccentric lytic lesion in the metaphysis and epiphysis with thinning of the cortex, which looks like osteoclastoma. What is the most appropriate next step in the management? So this is a next step kind of a question, which is asking you what is the next step? So here is a female who complains of pain in the wrist, multiple episodes of abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. So there are a lot of GI tract symptoms with an eccentric lytic lesion with thinning of cortex that looks like osteoclastoma. So there is a lesion in the bone that looks like osteoclastoma. Perform biopsy, that is the option A. Curitage alone, that is option B. Curitage and phenolization is the option C. And check serum parathyroid hormone and calcium, that is the option D. Now this looks like a patient who has GI symptoms with bony involvement and there is a lesion in the bone that looks like osteoclastoma. So what are the things that help us identify the diagnosis of this patient? All right. So this is a patient with GI symptoms. This is a patient with lesion in the bone. So bone and GI tract. Can you recall the statement that we all remember? Stones, bones, abdominal groans and psychiatric overtones. Yes, the stones. What are the stones? The stones are renal stones. Bones. What does it refer to? Bone related complications like pain or brown tumor. Abdominal groans, GI symptoms like constipation, indigestion, nausea and vomiting and psychological overtones. Yes depression. So these are the CNS involvements. So what causes all these things together? Hypercalcemia. So this is a patient who has hypercalcemia. Okay. So what would you want to do in order to confirm whether this hypercalcemia is because of a disease? Which disease we are talking about? Primary hyperparathyroidism. All right, we should go ahead and do the serum parathyroid hormone and serum calcium. What will you find in this patient? You will find that both the serum parathyroid hormone and calcium elevated in this patient. What does this patient have? This patient has a primary hyperparathyroidism. So what do you think is the answer? The answer is check the serum parathyroid hormone and calcium. What about the other options? Perform a bone biopsy. Yes, bone biopsy is actually a very good investigation, but it's unnecessary in this patient because it's not a tumor. What about curitage, curitage and phenolization? These are good treatments once the diagnosis is made as an osteoclastoma or some other lesion and we have not made the diagnosis yet. So the best answer here is D. Now let's look at the x-rays which suggested that this lesion looked like osteoclastoma. Here you have your giant cell tumor also known as osteoclastoma and here you have your Brown's tumor that occurs in hyperparathyroidism also known as osteitis fibrosa cystica. Both of these lesions appear almost the same eccentric and lytic lesions with thinning of the cortex. And also remember Brown's tumor is considered as giant cell tumor variant.